principle that a community hotel could be established in Ross Cray, a community-owned hotel. There is already a model for this apparently in County Monaghan. Uh, it's designed to give the type of facilities that hotels do give to towns and I know that Deputy Jackie Cahill and Councillor Michael Smith in particular uh, had discussions with Minister Roger Gorman today and I want to thank them for the leadership that they have shown in trying to get practical solutions. So it's very easy to protest, very okay. easy to shout, but if you actually want to get solutions uh, for the community, that, okay. uh, that is a genuine issue in the town, the lack of a hotel. And hopefully this can be solved now if the department... Well, can. it's obviously, with the greatest respect, a bit late to say that it's an issue about the hotel because it's your government that's taken over their only hotel. But to stick on this community hotel, what is a community hotel? And are you going to buy the disused Grants Hotel? Well, look, there's a... I'm, I'm not going to get into the details of any possible purchase, but there is agreement in principle that a community hotel... What does that mean? Well, in the sense that this issue has arisen over the last few days, uh, clearly, there's a great need for the facilities that a hotel offers to the community. This is clearly a major bone of contention in the community. And the Minister has listened to what Jackie Cahill and Michael Smith uh, have proposed. Uh, and I'm confident that this will be acted upon. Minister, there is already. isn't that exactly what's wrong with the government policy? It's, wait a second. It's so cack-handed. You're sitting there, to be honest, saying this place, Ross Gray, needs a hotel. But your government has just taken away its hotel. Did you not think about that? Look, the, the reality is that the numbers, there are huge numbers of people traveling all around the world, moving to other countries. Some of them are coming to Ireland. It's almost impossible to predict what the numbers That's of people are. That's not the question but, I asked no, but you. We, we saw in the VT report there, for example, somebody paid 10,000 euros, scandalously, to human traffickers, and that's going on all that. over Europe. The government doesn't have means to predict how many people are going to arrive but and seek international protection. that's what I ask you. Okay, before... So, well, but, the, but at the same time, the government has a legal obligation, and indeed a moral obligation, when people present themselves here to try to do something about it and to provide accommodation to them. And as you can see, that's really, really difficult, but it doesn't take away from the fact, as the UNHCR rightly says, there's a legal okay, obligation Okay, I agree so. with that. There is a legal obligation. We all accept that. But on what basis, what criteria does your government use to say, let's take Ross Gray? We heard, hang on a second, Paul Murphy there. Population Ross Gray, about 5,500. They've already 400 in the convent. They've 200 in Sean Ross Abbey. On what basis did you decide you should take away their only hotel and put more asylum seekers there? Look, I suppose the reality that's been facing the government, of, particularly over the last few months, but over, over recent years, is that people arrive, accommodation needs to be provided to them, and hotels have clearly made themselves available to the government when the government puts a call out for accommodation. But do you now, have a not, policy? Do you not, have a clear policy? That's not sustainable. The minister is coming forward with detailed proposals now to deal with, particularly those who are homeless, and if you saw them in the report, to deal with them and to make sure that we're going to have to have, that we have facilities, but they're going to be, like, they'll be controversial in themselves. I mean, this is not going to be easy, because what we're talking about is providing large reception centres to make sure that these people have a roof over okay, their heads. OK, and I hear while you're decide. in tonight, obviously, the Minister having to bat this away. But at the I'm, end of sorry, the day, wait a second. I, I couldn't said, be clearer that the government has a legal duty to, to house these people, and it's that. really difficult. We know that. It's really but difficult. What people are wondering is, do you actually have a clear policy? You've chosen somewhere like Ross Gray. You've taken away their only hotel that functions. And now tonight you're saying, oh, look, we'll buy the other hotel that hasn't been used since 2013 to give them back a hotel. Well, I think, look, I think that that's a, a reasonable solution in the circumstance. These, these are exceptionally difficult times that society is facing, that the world is facing. Unless we can stop all wars, we can reverse climate change immediately, people are still going to be moving, and at unpredictable rates. And the government, I'm not batting this away at all. We have a very clear legal obligation to house and these I people. And I hear you. And we're going to do that. And when people put their hand up, the government doesn't go in there. We don't have compulsory purchase powers to take over hotels. People but isn't put their hand it a up and say, my place is available. Admission minister, that it was wrong. Wait, it was wrong to close that hotel, Racket Hall. Because now you're accepting... Ross Gray needs a hotel, so it's a bungled policy. I don't think it's bungled policy. I mean, the policy is very clear that we have legal obligations. What? Under the close Geneva a Convention. hotel and then we, buy we, another we, one we the have, next day? No, we have legal obligations to house people. And when the accommodation is provided, people are put into that, that accommodation, which, by the way, is women and children that are being protested mm -hmm. there at the moment as we speak. I personally wouldn't protest against children, and I'd urge people to think again about that. I think it's wrong. Um, but at the same time, the government has to do this. We have to find places to put these people in. We have the situation that you outlined at the start of the programme, with hundreds of people essentially on the street.